here again to show off a new feature. Fix my light. For uh, our CFW that we have running from Rocket Launcher here. First off, I'm going to show off again how it works. And then we go into this. This will boot a patch uh, bootloader or stage two as it's properly called. Uh, we patch that. We patch the stage two uh, bootloader to um, boot a patch launcher from SD, which is patched to run stuff off SD. And as you see here, we have a few more stuff to show off here. We have WarioWare Touch DL working. We have HP menu and NTR launcher, so that means we have RSA patches. We have uh, the uh, SHA-1 HMAC hash stuff patched out, and pretty much we can run custom SRLs directly from system menu now. And let's see, first thing I'm going to show is HP menu. As you can see, it works. Let's see, TWL. Oh, As you can see, I gave it the file, same file category as a uh, system uh, launcher, as uh, file uh, the uh, system settings. And I found out that it's not quite the same as launcher because I tried to, to run the CFW program again from, from this version of HP menu. But that launcher did boot up, but it didn't have certain keys available, so it wasn't able to decrypt mod crypt stuff. Uh, let's see. So we're going to run that again, and I'm going to show off NTR Launcher with Mario, my Mario game. And froze for some reason. Yeah, this build of uh, NTR Launcher is a little unstable apparently. I just jacked up first. Then I use a cartridge, and there it goes. I may have the DSI version always do a slot reset, just to make sure everything works, because it's a little different on the DSI than it is on the on the 3DS. Launcher is a little more strict with stuff. As you can see, that works perfectly fine. Touchscreen works. Uh, Audio is working. So I'm going to show off one last thing. For that, I'm going to use the auto boot method. And let's turn it back down. And WarioWare. And that runs perfectly fine. From SD, no less. We got full set of patches. We got region free patches. I may have already mentioned the DS card whitelist patch. We also have an experimental patch for the, uh, we also have the experimental patch for the, uh, ARM 7 RAM code entry address for older flash carts, but I can't test that myself because the DS Extreme has its ARM RAM binary in a weird location, so Launcher doesn't want to load that one for different reasons. But in theory, that we might even be able to boot some older flash carts directly now with uh, our patch uh, system launcher. And there you go, we, we uh, have six uh, full-on CFW pretty much. Mo uh, we run unsigned SRLs, uh, games that weren't available on the DSi can run too, and that's pretty much it to show off today. Coming soon, hopefully. <laughs>